Are you taking Praxis Elementary Education Mathematics Subtest 5003, Numbers and Operations? If so, then this is the video for you. My name is Tom, and I am a test prep expert here at study.com, and I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see on this test. So let's get started. What are the first five factors of 36? Is it 2, 3, 4, 6, 9? 36, 12, 9, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 2, 3, 6, 12, 18. All right, so let's list the factors of 36. The factors of 36 are the numbers that will divide evenly into 36. So we know 1 times 36 is 36. We know 2 times 18 is 36. We know 3 times 12 is 36, and we know 4 times 9 is 36, and then 6 times 6 is 36. This is the list of factors for 36. So we want the first five factors of 36. So the first five factors would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. The principal of Dove Creek Elementary has a birthday in a month whose number is prime and on a day whose number is composite. Which could be the principal's birthday? Is it July 22nd, October 14th, March 13th, or December 11th? So a prime number, its only factors are one in itself, and our composite numbers are going to be the numbers that are not prime. So for example, any even number is a composite number because it has a factor of two. So what I'm going to do here is let's list the dates numerically. So July 22nd would be 7-22. October 14th would be 10-14. March 13th would be 3-13. And December 11th would be 12-11. The month has to be prime. So that means if the month number has to be prime, we're going to eliminate any of the composite numbers for the month. So 10 is an even number, so that's composite. So October 14th is eliminated. December 11th is eliminated because 12 is a composite number. All right, so 3 and 7 are both prime, so now we need to check the day. Okay, so on a day whose number is composite, well, 13 is another prime number. So 13 is not composite, so that means our answer must be July 22nd. Which of the following lists multiples of 8? Is it 1, 2, 4, 8, 8, 16, 56, 72, 1, 8, 16, 24, or 8, 24, 48, 62? So if we want multiples of 8, that means that 8 must divide into our numbers. Okay, so if we look at the first choice up here, we have three numbers that are smaller than 8. So to divide in evenly, if we divided the 1, 2, and 4 by 8, we wouldn't get a whole number for that. We would get a fraction, so that's going to be eliminated. Same thing with the third choice. It has a 1 on the list. That's a number smaller than 8, so it wouldn't divide in evenly. It would be a fraction. It would be 1 eighth. So these are our two choices we need to check. So if I look at the fourth choice on here, 8 divides into to three of the numbers. 8 divides in evenly to 8 one time. It divides into 24 three times. It divides into 48 six times. But this number here, 62, 8 does not divide into 62 evenly. So 8 is not a factor of 62. So that choice is eliminated. So the only answer that works would be 8 16, 56, and 72. 8 divides evenly into all four of those numbers. Which pair of numbers has all the prime numbers 2, 3, and 11 as factors? Is it 165 and 231? Is it 242 and 1,331? 286 and 3,993? Or is it 132 and 198? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use divisibility rules for checking to see if these prime numbers are factors. So the first thing I notice is that we have a 2 in our list of prime factors. That means we can eliminate any choice that's odd, because if it's an odd number, that means that 2 is not a factor of it. We can see in our first choice here, we have 165 and 231, which are both odd numbers. That's going to be eliminated. Our 
Second choice has 1,331, which is an odd number, so that's eliminated. Our third choice has 3,993. That's an odd number, so that's eliminated. So those answers can't be correct because they would not have two as a prime factor. So the only possible answer is 132 and 198. And just double checking this, they're both even, so they're divisible by two. So the rule for three is if we add up the digits and we can divide that by three, then the number is divisible by 3. So 132, when we add the digits, we get 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So 132 is divisible by 3. Same thing with 198. We add up the digits, we get 18. 18 is divisible by 3. So we know 3 is OK. So the only thing we would need to check is 11. Is 11 a factor of 132? Well, 11 would go in. We would divide. So 11 would go in 12 times. So 11 is a factor of 132, and then we would do the same for 198. So it would go in one time, and we would get 88 as our leftover. 11 times 18 is 198. So 132 and 198 would be our answer. That concludes our video, Praxis Elementary Education, Mathematics Subtest 5003, Numbers and Operations. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to visit study.com for more practice problems like this and access to personalized learning plans. Thanks for watching.